Okay, let's take a look at this next couple of questions that we have from our handout. And it says, right up here at the top, talking about Jensen Company, and it says they report the following information. We have information about direct materials. We have information about direct labor, factory overhead, and operating expenses. And it simply says Jensen's uh, product costs are. So we have to, all we have to do here is just simply determine uh, which items are product costs and which items are not product costs. And if we do that, then I think we'll be okay. Let's see, my calculator is kind of messing up on me a little bit here. Let's see if we can get this where you can see it. So we, we want to look at it and we say, okay, is direct materials a um, product cost? It absolutely is. My calculator is on the fritz, so we're going to do this a different way. 345000 uh, Direct labor costs incurred. What do you think? Product costs or not? It absolutely is a product cost, so we're going to add that. Factory overhead incurred is a product cost, so we're going to add that, and that's it. Operating expenses are absolutely necessary for a company uh, to operate, but they're not part of product costs. So if we think about a multi-step income statement, and we have looked at one, we would have our sales revenue up at the top, and then we would have cost of goods sold. What I want you to understand is that all three of these items will eventually become a part of cost of goods sold. Operating expenses are uh, all of our other types of expenses that we have. We're going to have, we're probably going to have some, some advertising. We're going to have some administrative wages. We're going to have some uh, shipping costs for our product and so on. That's all part of this 175000 So. If we, if we take these three numbers and we add these up, I believe that we will come up with $995,000, and that is our answer. So we can go ahead and put a check mark by these first three and put an X by operating expenses because that is not a part of, those expenses are not a part of what they're asking us for, which is product costs. Okay, the next question says, the Darwin Company reports the following information, and we have several items here. And then if we get to the end, they, we actually find out what they want us to uh, determine, and they're asking us for period costs. Well, I wanna go back up here for just a moment. Period cost just to help you out, are synonymous with operating expenses. Period costs and operating expenses are the exact same thing. Okay, so we have some items here. And if we're going to determine what period costs are, we also have to determine what period costs are not. So our first item up here says sales. Well, sales are not a cost at all. They're not a product cost and they're not a period cost. So we can go ahead and put an X by that. We're not gonna count that. Next item, direct materials used. Well, in our previous question, we just said that direct materials are a part of product cost. You're being asked for period costs. So we're gonna put an X there as well. Depreciation on factory equipment. Okay, no. Depreciation on factory equipment is a type of factory overhead. So when we talk about depreciation, 
the part that is related to um, a factory setting is going to be a product cost. Any depreciation that is for, say, for example, an administrative building, uh, that sort of thing, company cars, so on and so forth, uh, those would be period costs, but we don't have that here. Indirect labor, this is also factory overhead and is not a part of period costs. Direct labor, definitely a product cost, not a period cost. Factory rent, the key word here is factory. This is also a part of factory overhead. So we're gonna put an X by that as well. Factory utilities, you guessed it, is factory overhead. We're gonna put an X by it. Sales salaries expense, okay? have nothing to do with uh, the manufacture of the product. We don't get into that until after the product is made. So we're gonna put a check mark by that and we're gonna plot $15,600 right here. Office salaries expense is also a period cost. We're going to plot that there. Indirect materials, glue, adhesives, lubricants, and so forth. This is a part of factory overhead, which means it's a product cost, not a period cost. So now we can add these two items together. And if we do that, we're going to come up with $24,000, uh, $24,500 period cost. Okay.